Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and we're out to shoot another options at. The place we're going to has vegan options, but most of their menu is vegan. So I guess they have like non vegan options. I like to think of it that way. Anyway, the place is called Sia Manana, and I'm bringing along my boyfriend, Roberto. Come say hi. Come say hi. Hi. They don't open until later on in the day, around 5 o'clock, so we're waiting until opening time. This way, there's a good lighting outside still. This is something we couldn't do in the winter because the lights close, the lights close. Because <laughs> the sun sets at like 3 o'clock, but since it's summertime now, the sun is setting at like 7, so we can shoot this evening restaurant. Makes me really happy, but let's go! Okay, so we got off the train at uh, 23rd, we're walking 27th, and I think it's drizzling? So I hope not. Sky is looking a little cloudy. Update, we can't find it. Like where it is, it doesn't exist. Like where it is on the map, it doesn't exist in real life. It says it's here, but it's not here. All right, so we found it. They must not have their new awning yet. They're like that new. So it says wholesale hats, but it's the correct address. And I'm pretty sure they're not selling hats in there. So I think this is it. They have a beautiful inside area, but for lighting, I've decided we're sitting here, which is their outside area. And they don't open for another 10 minutes, so we're just gonna chill here for a little bit. I got these three things right here, and then I got the corn thing here, but now I'm gonna read it to you. I'm, I'll just read it to you. So, we're getting the corn esquites, which is roasted sweet corn, cilantro, garlic, vegan mayo. Then, for like our mains, we have street taquitos, um, two rolled tortillas stuffed with rustic potatoes, peppers stopped with salsa borracha. I don't know what that is, but I'll eat it. Chorizo enchiladas, uh, vegan chorizo with chili potato cheese and cal 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 caldillo rojo. I don't know what that is, something's red. And then avocado consomme, a deconstructed avocado filled with crispy kale broth mushrooms, seaweed, and a side of veggie rice. That honestly sounds the most interesting to me. And I didn't feel like drinking, but Roberto was down to drink, so I got a cocktail for me to try and him to drink, and that is the prickly, prickly pear cocktail. It looks really neat. Do you want to try it first? No, you try it first. Are you it, sure? it looks like Yeah, it looks like a barrel. It does look like a barrel, or like a bamboo. You ever used to have the barrel candies, like the root bear candies that look like barrels? No, but I also didn't like root beer growing up, so that makes sense. Yeah, I think they had other ones, but that were not root beer. But anyway, it smells very good. <laughs> it smells very good. Oh, that's delicious. This is the second best cocktail I've had in a while. The first best was a spicy mood. I'm sorry, see ya mañana. Now I'm like regretting not getting my own. <laughs> you can have it. And then I try it and I'm like, uh, you know what? On second thought, <laughs> On second you should thought, get your own. You should get your own. <laughs> right? That's really good. I feel like with cocktails, I've had such like drastic opinions on them recently. Like we went to a restaurant the other day and the cocktails were so bad. But the restaurant was a good restaurant, but it tasted so bad. Honestly, it tastes like a alcoholic it it tastes like an alcoholic melted popsicle. It says uh, tequila, prickly pear, mezcal, amaro, don't know what that is. Grapefruit, lime, soda. It tastes very fruity, pretty sweet, and you like barely taste the alcohol. It's just like a little bit. You only taste it a little bit. It tastes like a grapefruit lemonade with some alcohol. Do you taste grapefruit? Yes. Gra grapefruit? It tastes like... I've never had prickly pear. Yes, you have. You said there's too many seeds in it and you didn't like to eat it. Oh, then I had prickly pear and I said that it was too many seeds <laughs> and I didn't like to eat it. It tastes like... It tastes like all the things he said, but like with general fruit flavor. Like starburst fruit flavor. I really want to try the corn is. Ceviche? No. Okay, listen, the server said ceviche, but like it's not. It says corn esquites. It's like, you know, that corn with like mayo and cheese on it. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you know the vibes. It smells so good. Don't ever say it out loud. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't. You know the vibes? No, please. Don't. It smells so good. <laughs> you know the vibes? You know the vibes? <laughs> The vibes are spectacular. 
I don't know why the mayo is pink, but I don't care because it's so good. Is that vegan? That cheese tastes very cheesy. You know the vibes. You know the vibes? That's good stuff. Can I just buy a package of this cheese? <laughs> Are you sure? I have to ask again if it's vegan. <laughs> I'm gonna ask. I have to ask. But it's so good. Such a good start. Okay, next up is the avocado con consomme. It's like avocado soup. So here's the avocado consomme, and it comes with a side of veggie rice. It smells really good. You definitely smell the seafood. I meant seaweed. I mean, that is seafood, huh? Time to taste. Time to taste the test. Okay. I don't know how I feel about getting warm avocado. It's all right. Tastes like vegetable soup. It does. The description said it's crispy kale, but there's no way kale can be crispy if it's in soup. That's all right. This mushroom is longer than I thought it would be. I like the corn more. Yeah, the corn is really good. I don't know if you could eat this, but it came in the drink. It smells really good, but it could be just potpourri. Tastes good though. Eat it. Oh, that is good. Right? Hope that's edible. Yo, when she comes here, she's like, oh, we got another one. Rush from to the hospital. The main events are here. So oh, did you hear her? What? Uh, um, did you see when she came back? No. Uh, she said it, it's completely vegan. I, I, had, I had to ask the waiter about that cheese. It's on the salad again. It's on like this salad. So I'm excited to eat it. Um, but we basically, we got taquitos and we got, um, now I'm having a brain fart. Enchiladas. Enchiladas. And honestly, they look really similar but served differently. Um, Cause it's just a rolled up tortilla with yummy yummies inside. All right, so here are the taquitos. I literally forgot what's inside them. I think like potato something or whatever, but what? yeah, we'll find out when we bite. Um, and then here are the enchiladas. They both look so good. This one looks especially delicious um, and I'm really looking forward to it. That's so crispy. I feel like I didn't get that much filling. I got a little bit. Mmm. I got filling with that bite. That's better. It's good, but I wish it had more filling. Like like walnuts? No, just more. Oh, this filling. Yeah. Oh, okay. It just it's it's a little bit hollow. See? I don't know if you can see in it, but just trust me. There's like a few inches on either side that like didn't have that much filling. That's that's a little bit sad because it's good once you get to the filling. Last but not least, there's supposed to be chorizo in here. That looks good. There's like this slight. There's like this slight. There's a flavor in there that I don't know, and I don't know if I like it. Oh, I really like the salad on top though. Oh. It's the red sauce that I don't like. It's a salsa that I don't like. Does it have to bite? I'm eating more corn. I think I like the taquitos better because my only criticism of them would be like I want more filling, right? But I'm not a huge fan of the enchiladas. I think maybe there's like al alcohol in the sauce or something. I have to ask. There's like something in there that I don't like. Something. But out of everything. The corn? Yeah. The corn. Why is it so good? <laughs> Oh, and the cocktail. The cocktail is so good. All right, so we're done eating, but I want to show you inside because it's such a beautiful space in there. So let's go in for a second. I have a mask. Look at how beautiful this place is. All right, a few things. First, I'm absolutely delighted and amazed that it is six o'clock and the light is still beautiful outside. I love that. Number two, while I was inside, I asked the chef a few questions about the menu that I had. Number one, there's no alcohol in the red sauce on the enchiladas. He said it tastes that way because he like chars the red peppers like before he blends it. So maybe I just didn't like the charred flavor or something. But number two, and this blew my mind, the cheese that I was like drooling over this whole meal, he makes it out of potatoes. Is he a sorcerer? Potatoes? And then and I was like, no way, like there has to be something more in it. It tastes so good. It tastes like cheese. He's like, yeah, it's because I add some nutritional yeast. I, I add nutritional yeast in food. It does not taste that good. Excuse me. So no explanation for why that cheese tastes good. 
but it's made in-house from potatoes, so that's amazing. I'm very impressed with that cheese specifically. I'm very impressed. But Roberto's in the bathroom right now, so I might as well wrap up, because we might actually just go get ice cream and like extend this little date between ourselves after this. So I'm just gonna like say bye here. Um, my general thoughts about Sia Manana. It would be a very cute date idea where most of your meal concentrates on like the cocktails or something, because I just had one of the cocktails, and I would assume from the exquisiteness of that one that the rest must also be delicious. It could be a fluke that I would have gotten like a super delicious cocktail, but it looks like they take their cocktails super seriously in there. So what I would do is I would probably get like a couple cocktails with like me and friends or like with Roberto or with like your significant other or whatever and I would get the corn 100% and I would get like the taquitos and I would like keep it light on the food and then just like go heavy on the cocktails but that is all I have for today like if you like subscribe if you want to subscribe follow me on Instagram where I post every single day I put my Instagram right here and that's all I have for today I'll talk to you next time goodbye ah! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex, Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariella, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, and Rachel. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.